Hi everyone, I am Agnes Preeti. I am from Sastra Dean University, India. I am here to present my research work entitled Investigation of Mechanism of Lactonocyte B in the Treatment of Alzheimer's Disease Based on Network Pharmacology. Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disease that affects different regions of brain such as cortex, hippocampus and ventricles. Uh, and this is the sixth leading cause of death in US as well as uh, um, increased mortality rate due to AD were observed in developing countries like in India. And the main clinical symptoms of AD were impaired memory and cognition, behavioral changes, differences in difficulty in speaking, walking and swallowing. Pathophysiologically, uh, Alzheimer's disease is characterized by extracellular accumulation of amyloid beta protein and intracellular tau tangle formations. Yet, the other factors such as mitochondrial degeneration, calcium dyshomeostasis, uh, lysosomal dysfunction and microglial activation also associated with the AD disease progression. So, AD is known to be a multifactorial disease and the current treatment available for AD were only symptomatic and cause side effects. That's why the researchers were now focused on disease modifying drugs for the treatment of AD. Macropo manari is one of the famous medicinal herbs used in Indian traditional medicines such as Ayurveda and Siddha and it is rich in phytochemicals such as flavonoids, saponins, sugars, amino acids, phenylethanol glycosides, etc. Although many research studies have focused on saponin compounds of bacopa manari, such as bacocytes, bacopacytes for their anti-inflammatory, antidepressant, neuroprotective and anti-alzheimeric properties, very little is known about its phenylethanol glycosides, which also known to have neuroprotective properties in the other plants based on the literature survey. One of the phenylethanol glycosides of Bacopa manari is platinocyte B um, and a very recent study indicates its binding affinity to amyloid beta and attenuating neuronal damage that also correlates with our previous study on a polyhybrid formulation that identified platinocyte B as a potential active compound that binds to COX2 enzyme which plays a critical role in neuroinflammation. So, we hypothesize that platinocyte B has potential to treat Alzheimer's disease by acting on different targets in a synergistic manner. So, the current study aims to explore its uh, mechanism of action in the treatment of AD using network pharmacological analysis. At first, we have identified the targets of platinocyte B using various databases such as SuperPred database, SEA database, Swiss target prediction to form mapper and binding database. And then we have identified 403 uh, targets of platinocyte B from the databases. And then we have identified the differentially expressed genes of AD using GEO data set of 5281. And, and the common targets between differentially expressed genes of AD and platinocyte B has been identified. Totally we have identified 81 common targets between them. The common targets were subjected to protein-protein interaction analysis using the string database and the PPA network was further analyzed using Cytoscape software and, uh, and 17 key targets of uh, platinocyte B were identified using the CytoNCA and Centiscape plugins of the Cytoscape software based on the topological measurements such as uh, degree centrality, between a centrality and eigenvector centrality of the network. The functional clusters of the targets were identified by M-code plugin of the Cytoscape software and our PPE network was segregated into three functional clusters that include 16 key targets. That may indicate that our key targets play essential role in the different molecular functions against AD. Our gene ontology results suggest that the common targets were enriched in the biological process they are related to protein phosphorylation and positive regulation of MAPK, ERK1 and ERK2. As well as the uh, KEC pathway analysis results showed that the enriched pathways were related to the 
cell proliferation such as PA3, AKT pathways and inflammation related pathways. And the top tar five targets such as MAPK1, AKT2, MAP2K1, EGFR and MTAR were involved in the large number of enriched pathways. And finally, we have performed molecular docking analysis for the uh, 17 key targets. Among them, six targets, which are the members of PA3 AKT pathway, such as HSP 90AA1 uh, and EGFR, MTAR, MET, KDR, and MAPK1 were shown good binding affinity and interactions with platinoside B. So, we can conclude that. Plantoside B may act on P3 AKT pathway targets and modulate them for its therapeutic potential against ED. In summary, our present work identified 17 key targets of Plantoside B against Alzheimer's disease. And Plantoside B may act as an anti-Alzheimeric therapeutic compound by modifying P3 AKT signaling pathway targets. Yet the result seems to be further evaluated. Thank you.